Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Rianshu campaign. This is episode 10. We pick it up from turn 42 in the autumn season of 198. So quickly jumping back into game, uh, we took down the trade port here in Loyang at the end of the last episode. And we're approaching Domin's territory. I don't personally want control of the Emperor because that would mean uh, that we get to vassalize the Han Empire automatically. And then we'll just be exposed to too many potential enemies. It basically would drag us down. But I'd rather not do that. Uh, so going this far is probably far enough. Uh, going farther west, it's not very manageable terrain. Capturing the Jade Mine is kind of pointless. We already have Jade and it just exposes us to two potential you know, attack fronts from the city. Uh, I'd rather just pay him a little bit, get the peace that we're looking for. And we're going to shift our attention elsewhere. So just a quick summary of the diplomacy situation on the map, just to know what's going on uh, on the map as a whole. First up, there is a coalition to bring balance. So this is a group that's almost all friendly towards us. Uh, Liu Chong's in this coalition, as is Gong Sun Zan, Zhang Ye, and Zheng Jiang, the two bandits, the warlords from the north, and now Prince of Chen, Liu Chong. And this group is in alliance war with Yuan Shao. Yuan Shao is by himself here, and Yuan Shao is actually at war with us. Uh, we're his brother, but uh, since we are at war, they like us because we share a common enemy. They're also at war with Domin right now, so us piecing out against Domin might not be the best move. Uh, but still, in my mind, I don't mind the three northern factions if they ever decide to go to war with us, because we're not going to keep them as long-term friends. Liu Chong is not at war with Domin, so... I feel good just exiting the war and he wouldn't bother us about it. And then we have this huge alliance on the map called the Alliance of the Hush Wind. This is the bulk of the enemy that we have. Um, let's first deselect because we we're, we're basically seeing other people's opinions, not ours. There we go. So Domin is at war with us. He doesn't like us because of the war, but he got tricked into this war by Cao Cao and Tao Tian while we were fighting them. He has a ton of vassals, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But none of them are actually at war with us. Many of them actually like us. So if we can peace out with him, we can prevent these vassals from turning on us and ruining these relationships that we've been building for a long time. That's why I really want to peace out with him. And we also managed to peace out with some of his uh, co alliance members. You know, Konro, we peaced out so that we can trade. He likes us for that. Lady Mi, we peaced out, even though she doesn't like us because of all the war atrocities we committed against her. We left her faction alive so that she could join some other pool and maybe we can get her later on. Liu Dai, I really don't care about. Zhang Chao, we're about to destroy this turn. So, or maybe next turn? This turn. So our order of you know, operation will be attack Zhang Chao, wipe him out this turn, and then peace out with Dong Min and don't worry about Liu Dai very much. I mean, potentially he could drag members back into war with us. But I don't want to pay him at all. He's just not worth dealing with, in my opinion. And then after we manage to peace out, you know, with all the factions to the west, you know, to the east, to the north, we're going to turn our attention to the south, where we have many members without alliance or without any friends. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and attack Sheng Xian, who is guarding the salt mine of Jianye. And that would be a landing spot for our army, Zhou Tai, here, because he has nothing to do after taking uh, Zhang Chao's land. And we'll land over here and see what else is going on. I believe this it will be Wang Long and then Yan Bai, who we're trading with. Uh, some of them is going to get pretty nervous once we land, and they might declare war on us, and that's what we want. We want to start moving south. Uh, let these warlords fight it out in the north. Not our problem. We can maintain a nice buffer zone of friends and not worry about them. We'll also tear up our non-aggression pack with Sun Tzu. I decided that we're going to wipe him out rather than try to wait him out because it's too early in the game. It's only turn 42, so he's not willing to submit to us. If we let him survive, he's expanding as you can see. He's starting to take land. If we let him survive and build up, it's not going to be great for us. And another thing about him is that if we want Sun Ren, for example, we have to give him 40 more turns. I much rather start expanding now. Uh, let him push into some of these Han territories, and we'll take the rest from him after he does that for us. 
uh, it'd be nice if you can take this tea, and then we'll basically go attack him. Now, from the moment we tear this treaty up till we can attack him, it's going to be about five turns. What we're going to do is we're going to use our army here, build this up as our third army, to go down south and beat him up. Uh, while he hopefully will take more Han Empire territories for us, in particularly this tea house. We want that for ourselves. We are currently relying on the Han Empire for that trade route. And that's just not a great plan for the long term. Alright, so that's pretty much what we plan to do uh, going forward. And to execute that, first we have to start with this fight here. Zhang Chao must die. So this army is reinforcing outside. The garrison cannot run. That army can run, so we attack the garrison to force him to come in. Uh, we're not going to do any night battles because we want him to actually be in the fight. And we're just going to... Well, he's just a general. Okay. Well, it's a very pathetic army, but we'll fight this one on the field. We'll give them a proper send-off. So let's go here. Alrighty, nice beautiful map here. Um, actually has defensive structures for a farmland, which is impressive. I thought this would be an open field fight, but that's fine. We have one general reinforcing. I want to try to get as many duels as possible. Uh, that gives us a lot of experience boost. So we're going to put Jotai out there. Is there a door on this side? There's a door here. There's a door here. I think we'll opt for just the door we're at. Um, I don't quite like the tree setup though. We could tilt, get a little bit closer to our generals. I'm probably not going to micro these guys just because A, they're pretty high level already, and B, I just want to look at the duel. Uh, I wish for the day when we had more frontline units, but I don't think that's happening. Um, we also don't, I don't think they have any cavalry. They might have a few, uh, like one or two, but not many. Our cavalry can just chill. I don't think they're needed here. And I hate how we have to babysit this unit. Uh, our girls can come back here. And that's it. Come on, my friend. Duel. There we go. Comes in as reinforcement. Immediately get drawn into a duel with Jotai. Impeding death. Now oh, where is he? He's behind that tree. Oh, he went through the tree. What the heck is that? One with the farm. He's a farmer. Let's see. We'll seal he we'll seal Oh he doesn't have ability. He has no active abilities. Just a quick peek to see if they're marching out. They're not, but we're firing. Alright, we'll, we'll let them fire. It's fine. He's putting up a fight. He's level four, so he's not like super weak. But, I mean, we're level 7. I think we dueled so many people. We dueled Tao Shang, Tao Ying, Tao Song, Tao Ang. So basically Tao Tian's kid, Tao Tao's kid, Tao Tao's dad. And then the random Tai He, Tai Zhong, the heirs that they put after the Tao family died. Alright, let's get back. Let's see if we can get another duel. Not visible. John Chao, he has no health. Oh, they have no health. They're not going to duel us. And they're not charging out either. Alright, we're going in. What does it look like from the front? Uh, all they have are archers. Oh. The second I manually select, they come in. Are they charging out? Oh, they're charging out. Alright, we'll, we'll let them do their thing. Okay. Interesting. He has what? Eh, nothing interesting. He does have a close relative in Oathorn buff, though. We will heal them if we kill him. But he's unbreakable, so let's not kill him. Actually, let's kill him. And then we can have a chance to route her. The ideal plan is route her first, then kill the unbreakable. Hmm, it's not gonna happen. He's gonna get healed. And then maybe we'll get a duel. Who knows? He's suiciding. Come 
Can we not waste arrows on generals? All these guys won. She has a bow as well? Okay, she's standing still to try to shoot us with a bow. Wow. I, I, she, she's gone. She's gone. Stop hitting her. Right, we want him gone too. So this way he doesn't heal from the O-Thorn effects. Alt for a second. Don't accidentally kill her with us. Oh, it's close. That was close. Oh, no, 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 no. What are we doing? What are we doing? No, no, no. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. We want him to charge at them, not them. I don't think they're coming out again. They're going back in. Look at that. Oh, they're shooting at us. What is this? Yeah, why are they not charging anymore? Oh, she bounced back. Alright, it's on fire. We have four more shots. Actually, that's plenty. But what happened to the charging at us? Alright, can we give her a gentle tap? Because her weapon sucks. Zhou Tai taps her, she dies. Just just one tap, please. There we go. There we go. That's good enough. She's 200 health. Let her run away. Alright, next up, we have to get the strategist to run away. Hmm. I mean, this would be the shot. Not, not quite. Try that. That would be more accurate. Gotta like thread through these trees right here. Alright, now we're hoping for a slight overshoot. Ah, uh, we got one good hit there. Oh, she bounced back? What happened? Alright, alright, she's gone, she's gone. She's gone for good. Uh, go chase from kills. We need you guys to level up. Chase the same group so you guys can heal each other. I want to go give him a whack. To get him to route. See if we can time the shot so that they, they route when Jotai gets close with the scare. There's the fire, under fire, Jotai comes in with a scare, negative morale incoming, three, two, one, negative five, all right, they're gone, now shoot that other one, okay, perfect timing, they can rest now, hit him, uh, once again, some random units poking us and we're refusing to charge. Ah, oh, we missed him. He only has one point. Oh no, he only has one point six k. I think if we touch him, he dies. Right, if we touch him, he dies. We got a full heal. Does he want to duel us after he calms down? Wait till he comes back into his control. Come on, Four, uh, fourteen more seconds. It's a long time. together still all right one second doesn't want to duel think about it think about it come on think about it you can you can save all your men fight me one on one I mean, he's unbreakable all right we're just gonna let them fire well oh, I guess they still have a lot of units I thought they had way less. Um, let's move our archers up. Let's 
move them over. We're basically going after their range. Change your mind? No? Guess not. Right. I think that's the only... Oh, there's two range units. Kill off their range. Kill off their last range unit right there. Let our archers go to town. Go after those archers. Go after those archers. Do not let them fire at our archers. Slap them. There we go. Oh, they bounce back. Alright, let's try to kill him. Crossbow man ran out of arrows first. Wow, we kill him really fast. These are spear warriors. They don't actually have shields. The icon looks like uh, spear guards, but they're not actually spear guards. Go chase something. Alright, that's it. We'll split the experience with all the units. Alrighty. That should wipe out his faction. Zhang. Okay. So we have this level 4 farmland that we don't need. We're going to trade it away, uh, but not right now. We'll trade it away once we jump into the water. And we're headed for this salt mine right here. Alright, we'll pick up stealth. Alright, we can demolish that now. We'll level up so that we can pick up State Workshop. Hmm. Guess we'll wait for that. And we'll level up and go for Forge. Uh, we're definitely going full income here. It's just that, do I want the mine first? or Actually, I probably want this first. Uh, Xiangyang. Uh, right now, I mean, right now all these are full income commanderies. We're not really going corruption reduction right now. A, our corruption is not that high. B, they're our best commanderies right now. Once we get places like Jianye, we'll start switching and we'll just swap these over to corruption reduction later on. But right now we'll go full income. All right, let's check spies. Zhang Chu. Okay, we'll start making peace now. We killed off Zhang Chao, so that's another member of that alliance that's gone. Uh, they might hate us a little bit for that. But I think he's still going to be willing to do peace with us. That's not that expensive. Uh, I actually don't want to give him any of my items. What we will do instead is offer him some food. He is food poor, so... Maybe one food and the rest will be money. But he's not food poor. He, I mean, the price he's offering us is not a food poor price. 1.1 for one? He's probably also super rich. Right. Oh, he's making things difficult for us. Either we have to pay him a large sum of gold. Uh, 15 is not that bad. 1500? Yeah, we can't afford that. We did all our buildings. And then we give him one food and uh, we get our deal. Everyone loves this except for Zhou Rong, who we don't care. And he loves us already. Okay, so we pieced out with him. We're still at war with Liu Dai, but I really can't deal with him. I'm not paying him 17.4. There's just no way. Um, we can tear up this treaty. 
It's not like he likes us. Well, he's getting there. Hmm. It's just that I'm not willing to wait 40 turns of buttering him up to get his sister. I mean, I don't have to. I don't have to declare war on him right away. I can just get rid of the deal early on. And then if he, you know, continues to expand, it's great. You know, we don't have to rush this part. Let him take more land for us that we don't have to trade for them. But I just want to have the option to declare war on him at any time I want. All right, I think that pretty much solves most of our diplomatic. It's dropped. Actually, he was willing to pay us earlier. All right, who cares? I'm gonna shift this army down here, and they can continue to defend. We got the peace deal, but most of this area is probably safe. I'm gonna recall this group and probably send them down south with our other army. All right, I'm fine with this deployment and let us continue. A straight up non aggression pack with Gongsun Zan. Yeah, we can do that. That's totally fine. Alrighty, Gongsun Zan asks they would want to join their war against. Wait, Liu Yu still alive? Interesting. And Liu Bei joined the war against Zhu Fu. That's down south, so that's good news for us because we're going to war with a lot of the southern factions too. All right, we're popping into the waters. We're coming over here. His army is really weak. It's going to be a pushover. Uh, next step is to trade with the Ha Empire. We have Guangling's farmland up for trade during winter. Food is very premium here. And what I want uh, is Changsha's trade port as kind of a launch pad for our arm group. 5.5. Oh man, even though I don't want to get rid of... Um, hold on. I need to check one thing. The reason why I kind of don't want to get rid of the ox is... It's part of a set for the foreman. So instead, we should probably just unequip a stone pig, which is completely useless. And trade the stone pig away. My empire, where are you? There we go. This should be worth 4.3. And then we can probably just offer him one food for 1.5. 1.1, sad. Uh, 50 gold, 40 gold. 40 gold, 39 gold, uh, 40 gold is fine. So we got the territory swap that we wanted. And we can kind of see what Sun Tzu is doing. And if he wants to declare war on us, he can. What level is it? Oh my god, High Empire, what are you doing? You're so rich, so much cash and not building up. Um, We're going to raise the three assassins that we kept. Our banded army corp lands in the south. Our proper army group goes over here. We're not going to give them a force. They're just going to be poison of all the units. Um, hopefully Sun Tzu expand more down south. He's coming over here for some reason. Alright, we move that group. Alright, they're healing here, which is perfect. This one's level four, so very impressive. Don't uh, don't miss doing his job. A level archer. We have quite a few generals just doing nothing. Uh, by quite a few, I mean Chen Gong basically. He could use a few level up. Maybe just put him on assignment. Yeah, we can get maybe get rid of the actual. Uh, is this our highest commerce? It might be. One seventy, one hundred, two fifty nine out. 
Yeah, 259, yeah. All right, Changong takes over. Maybe this is finally our time to say goodbye to him. We're paying him for patrol commander right now. I mean, he could be a... I don't know. I'm not going to make him minister. Right? He's the first general we captured on turn one. He's our starter fight. And I think he's served his purpose. Now that we got more legendary characters. Okay. We'll take these couple turns of peace and quiet to build up. We need more reforms. All right, we're about to hit Duke. Next turn will be Duke. Dashu's gone, but once we hit Duke, he should show up. We could potentially turn Xu Yu and then mess with Yuan Shao's court to steal Yan Liang. We can probably make that investment right now. Mess with our brother a little bit. Oh, yeah, now I'm super happy. Never mind, that's not gonna happen. Lady Bian has joined him. Okay. I'm interested in stealing Lady Bian, actually. Plus five. Gotta kind of remember that. And we gotta just wait for points at this moment. Yeah. Uh, we can probably do this twice because this girl is much faster. Alright, we'll just embed the the spy for now. I mean, Xiu historically is the spy in the faction anyways. Where's his army? We should probably see it next turn. He's in yet. The vision's not triggered until the next turn. Um, but I think we moved all our armies. They're resting in defense. Okay, we're good to go. Let's continue. So Hanshi uh, we're Duke. Okay, we'll kill both of them together. He also signed a peace treaty. Go for it. Go attack Jorong. Got some extra gold. Next step, Emperor. And then we get Dashu to join us. Wonderful. Oh, a golden star. On a late stroll through the courtyard, you saw a uniquely golden star. It twinkled post as if it was the very heartbeat of the night sky. Later that evening, as you slept, a prophet appeared in your dream and said that if you held a ceremony to heaven, you could alter history. The next day, your thoughts are consumed by it. You thought it merely a dream, yet it was so vivid and lives on in your mind. Ah, oh, okay. So this is a event to speed up some MTU uh characters into the game because they're uh much later on in history so they kind of use this event with a missized picture by the way pops out too much uh to basically get them to join the game i mean she's the latest addition i think we want to see her lady Tr yeah let's do it i don't know where she will appear but you should be joining the game. Once again, we get a huge roster of characters. Alright, we have a Prime Minister a position open, uh, which is pretty important. Uh, basically, we get another set of faction-wide bonuses. And I was thinking... Uh, let's see. Minus 15% retinue upkeep. That's kind of what we want. The minus 5% income from family estates doesn't, it's not worth that much. 2,000 is the base amount, 5% of that is 100, so basically minus 100 salary, um, income per turn. But you save 15% retinue, so that's huge. And since he is a commander, he has some skills that are uh, essential for the position, but they 
changed around his tree a little bit, so he doesn't have flexibility, which is a real shame. But he can eventually get nobility and understanding. So that could be good. 10% income from all source. Mm. Plus 5 satisfaction. Very far away from flexibility. Plus 2 satisfaction. I'll pass on that. We can probably get rid of this. Yeah, he's fine. What's well, yeah, that is really good. Uh, minus 10% corruption. And then he can get a trade route for us. But that's about it. Extra army. I mean, but 10% corruption is really good. 15% um, retinue upkeep is also really good. But his tree is really lacking. We'll get plus 4 satisfaction as well. And then the authority will be a lot of satisfaction. Alright, so he is tempting with him. But it is a prime minister role. What do we need right now? Do we need 15% or do we want minus 10? It's hard to gauge which one's better, actually. Um, our army, we have... How much does our army cost right now? 1705. That's with some discounts in there. So we're saving about 7400-ish with that 15. And then we get hit with 100 from the family state. We're saving about 300-ish. Uh, our corruption is get worse and worse, and this is going to do better and better. So, I'm leaning toward Guo Jia. Plus, he just I just like him more. At the end of the day, that's actually what's going on. Is that I just prefer Guo Jia more than I prefer. I don't have any other bonus. So I guess some uh, that would work. We'll steal that. Yeah, I just like Guo more, so so be it. Uh, 63.53. We move him from here to here. And we have an opening here. We want a strategist here. It's just food production. So maybe we'll leave it open until we get the new mission. And someone's probably going to ask me to put someone in that position. And that's gonna be better. So we are making we're 63 something, right? So we made about 600, 500 something with that change. Now some of that has to do with the salary uh, situation as well, uh, but overall that's pretty good change. We get another administrator slot, which is key. Um, of all the commanderies that we own right now, I guess Nanyang will be the one that needs one the most. Now we don't need really a build up. We just need extra income. So. Let's see. Luo Jun. Luo Jun is not good in industry and commerce. Hmm. Oh, but then she's a bandit, so she doesn't have access to the 40 and 15% you usually get from Sentinels. Might just go with a strategist, actually. Let's see. Yan Xiang. If we go down here and grab these, kind of ruins his tree, but it's not like we need the... Oh, no, no, no. He has unique abilities. We actually need those. Hmm. So he's out. He has burnt, but she doesn't have the other boost, which we need. Yang Hong. <laughs> he's been waiting for this job forever. Uh, but he also doesn't have the skills right now. So he's just doing assignments because he has uh, understanding here. We can hire a new one. I mean, we have so many characters in court right now. Uh, oh, Zhang Wen, if he has a good skill tree, he can be a great character with 15% boost. Now, obviously, we will likely run into the problem of um, him asking for independence, but then we just get rid of him. Not the biggest deal. Actually, the best thing to do is actually click through these to look at skill trees, because that's what I care about right now. Wait, why can't I click them? Wait, what happened? 
it's not working. I can't right click to see. Oh, there we go. For some of them, it's not working. Maybe they're not actually here. Honest, wise. Oh, she's actually pretty good for a future administrative role. And also, she has these already. That's kind of what we we're looking for. So, that's one candidate. She's a bandit, charlatan. Pass. Magistrate, pass. Uh, Guan Ning. Not what we're looking for. Stern, kind. Stern's industry. But uh, commander is kind of wasted. Gong Sha Ji, another assassin. Wow. Now we can officially make assassin army because our other band is not assassin. I mean, I like I like assassins, but we need four. <laughs> Might be a little bit too many. Plus, he's three levels away from the skill that we want him to have. So that's too much investing. See, I can't right click her. I can't right. Oh, so she probably is not in our pool. All right, that's good. So he he's also pretty decent. So that's candidate number two. Uh, pass. Can't click her, can't click her, can't click her, can't click her, can't click. Oh, what's going on? Are they actually here? Maybe they're just not here. Yeah, they're actually not here. They just showed up outside, but they're not actually in our pool. So she could be a spy. That's her thing. High Empire. I don't think High Empire spies on you. I'm not too concerned, but it might be safer to go. With, oh, he's also could be a spy. Yan Bai Hu. Hmm. In this case, I'd rather trust the High Empire. The High Empire shouldn't be spying on me. And plus, she can transition into a more faction wide role with the peasantry boost here, extra corruption, and satisfaction. Yeah, she's. I think she's great. All right, let's recruit her. Throw her in here in Nanyang. Do we need to give her any items? I think we have some items for her, actually. Hold on. Wait, where did she go? Wait, did she... Am I not seeing? Wait, is she not here? Not these. Yeah, she's not here. She's a female sentinel. She disappeared from our character list? What is this magic? Do we have to wait till next turn to see her? There we go. Artificially open her up. Um... Right, the weapons are all right. Give her a foreman. I'll just give her the foreman for the 10% industry. All right, that's fine. All right, a lot of weird thing happening with the court. We have a couple of assignments available. Yuan, Yuan, Yao. Oh, Yuan Yao is coming back here. Well, he doesn't like working with her. Well, too bad. Too bad. Who else? Peasantry? We have peasantry in Xiangya. Because we haven't tore this building down yet. But we're going to tear that down. So probably Jiangling is where we have peasantry. 195? Yeah. Actually, yeah. 195 because it has the livestock farm. So let's do the peasantry boost here. All right, we'll ignore that. Should we start tearing it down? I guess we'll tear it down next turn. But this will hit level 
Well, actually, it depends on what we get here. Now it doesn't. Let's see. All right, we're so close to Onyx Dragons. Let's go for it. Yeah, we'll tear that down next turn. We actually have two builds here. Just go for extra food. Alright, we'll declare war now. Army number two, just resting. Alright, they're moving here to build up the force. I might build a conscription temporarily for them. Wow, what is this? We found our old man. He's just standing here all this time. Hello, Lil Bell. You still hate us? A lot less now. How much cash does he still have? Oh, he's just been stacking his uh, uh, faction, uh, uh, family estate money. Does he have items? No, he doesn't. <laughs> Alright, we'll leave him alone. No need to pick on him. 16.1? Come on. Yeah, that's too much. We'll pass. I think he lost a lot of trade routes still mint because of the trade port we took away from him. So he doesn't have access to a lot of people now. Alright, I want Sun Tzu to go attack the south. But I can't control that. I want to spy on the capital. Alright, Chen Pu's here. Alright, not that scary. Alright, we're going places there. He's in the right place. Let's just look at the spies. Yeah, Doyle's messing up again. Danba is wandering alone. Waiting for him to get more points. And then we'll try to steal Lady Bien. This is Dong Zhuo's wife. He married her, or someone in his court married her. Bad we can't see any info about her. Curious what her skill tree looks like. Um We're gonna leave the council position open for now. We're gonna invoke it. And uh, we're gonna see if they ask me to put someone as Grand Director, because those are usually very easy missions. So let's continue. Alright, Domin commands their vassal to join war against Zhang Yan. Alright. A granddaughter. I think that's our first granddaughter. I think we have two grandsons. Oh, three grandsons. And, and a granddaughter. All commanders. Wow, ambitious kids. Um, we have a couple more kids ourselves as well. We have a vanguard here. Impressive. Yeah, we'll see if you are lucky enough to get Surin or Luigi. Um, I don't know if Liu Bu's kid have come of age yet. We can kind of check people's trees. All right, boring. Oh, MTU character, Gong Sun Zan's wife. Okay. Moron didn't get anyone interesting. He adopted. She remarried. But she has all Tao Tian's kids. He adopted Jian Yong. Yeah, he adopted Luo Jun. That's why we were able to get him through marriage. The old guy has a pretty big family. Not gonna lie.
All right, Doyle also has a big family. I think they give fertile traits to too many people in MTU. Oversaturated population. All right, Dot Hell spawn for him. Oh man, they are busy too. They have a baby portrait for Sunren. She's only nine. Even Sun Quan is not of age yet. Ah, it's gonna take forever. We're probably not gonna be able to get them. Oh, Wang Long Sun married Yi Jian Ling Ti. Okay. We have his wife. <laughs> we have his wife. Is that why he went to war with us randomly? Okay, the Yuan clan has this 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 is us. We we have too many things going on here. It's Yuan Shao's side and our side. Wait, this is not this is not our side. This is all his side. Okay, our brother's getting busier than us. If he add in our side, it's even crazier. I guess I should be happy. You know, our clan's growing and it's kind of big. Yeah, I can't tell about Lu Zi. She's just not here. All right. Um, let's see. We got buildings that needs to go up. We got Invoke Council. Abort that one. Abort this one. Upgrade settlement on the way. Ooh. I don't think we're going to make that happen. That's super easy to do. Do not be at war with Liu Dai. Hmm. I mean, that's not something. That's not something I can control. You know. Like I can't control that. I mean, the easiest solution is actually sell this army down, smack them a couple times, and then get the peace deal. We might actually just do that. We have military access? Yes, we do. Good. Yeah, since this army is doing nothing anyways, we're just going to beat up their army to get the peace deal. Okay. All right, they're in place. I see that they're expanding, which is great. Keep expanding. I don't know what they've been doing the last 40 turns, but keep it up. Salt mine. Um, we're probably going to have to fight this one. Um, I might just cut it out. It's not going to be terribly interesting. Inspector, not that useful. Yeah, we'll cut this out. See you guys at the end. Alrighty. We took a few losses. I don't know where actually. Where did we lose 10 people? Right, they didn't kill anyone. Huh. They. Ah, uh, friendly fire. They probably were standing in front of the crossboats and actually got hit. My bad. We got a random general, which is great actually because we don't disband legitimacy. It just has to be a good general. She has a bunch of spying traits, but she can't spy. Right? She even have a spying background. <laughs> okay, all right. We can use her as a Simon character and potentially a administrator because she has passive. This, which gets 5% from all sources. We'll hang on to her. She's level 1. She's not going to cause any problems in terms of satisfaction. Um, let's see. So Wang Long indeed has this little piece of land right here. Is he at war with anyone? Wang Shao. Yan Bai Hu. Trade partner. Alright, we have one open trade route. Sun Ce and Dongmin. Dongmin's too expensive. Alright, we'll keep it open for now. Um, Liu Yao, we're trading right now. We could potentially cancel this and go to war with him soon because he has a very nice piece of land. Let's not lie here, Jian Ye is the best. He could build it up for us a little bit more, I wouldn't mind. I kind of want to go to war with both of these factions right here. 
I don't know how far colonize they did for these empty land, but the more they colonize, the better it is for us. Um, we have an army moving towards the old die. Do we need to start building up this army? I don't think so. I'm not in a terrible rush to crush them, to be honest. Let's just take it easy for a little bit and uh, build up our commanderies. There's plenty of things to actually spend money on. I'm actually tempted to swap this uh, to our version, to the Han version, because we want items. We'll lose the base 80 industry, which actually hurts, but we don't need replenishment here either. It's not really a frontline commander anymore. Like when we go to war with Yangzhou, it's a pushover fight. It's not a real fight. Yeah, well, let's just be a little bit passive for now. We don't need any characters. And even though there's tons of people, I don't think we want any of them. So we're just going to pass. Uh, Do we get a mission for Grand Director? We didn't. Okay, so I, uh, I guess we'll assign one next turn. We don't need the extra food right now. Blood Dragon. We killed that many with Zhou Tai? I guess it, we did. We just ran him inside. Uh, tried to get him a duel. He did. He got a duel inside and then just stayed inside and kept fighting. The Seed Weapon did a lot of work too. Including killing some of our own men apparently. But Alright. So I guess we go next. Perfect. We don't have to worry about backstabbing anyone. He did it for us. Perfect. Uh, silly, silly Yan Bai Hu. And Sun Tzu right on cue. And Wang Lang takes the high road. Wants to sign a non-aggression pack. He's scared. We're not doing that. Reject. Alright, so just when we thought our armies have nothing to do, something happens. So Dong Min's group is going to war with the north. I think we'll take... Oh. I actually... I don't... Yeah, I think Suspicion is actually better as a trait. So a ton of characters again. They're actually recruitable this time. I mean, I'm not looking for a regular character though. I'm looking for legendary guys. Alright, we're good. Uh, so we got to figure out a way to deal with... I believe he's going to attack the Lumberyard. We're going to bulk up. Cavalry, cavalry. Front line. Actually, no. We'll let him recruit these because... Actually, no. He doesn't have charge bonus. Alright, he'll command all the infantry. Alright, how many turns? Four. Might be a while. It's a large city. I think instead, what we're going to do is come have them come attack the fishing port. They have stock, they have poison arrow, they're very suited to take commanders like these. It's very low level as well. So he can sweep through... The fishing port and the lumberyard for us. Will our main army get ready to go down here? This is all Yan Baihu's territory. Um, do we want to trespass? I guess I trespass. I, I I guess I don't care about this trespass now, do I? Now the problem is I can't reach Xingdu even from here. I reach Xingdu from here. Uh, the terrain is. Very tough. Alright, I'm going to trespass against both of them. If they want to declare war against us because of this, then so be it. Um, Alright, that's all the building. We have another army. It's actually marching towards Liu Dai here. 
I'm not looking to wipe him out per se. I mean, we could actually, and then trade the farmland to Liu Chong or even Liu Bei. I'm holy Liu Chong. Yeah, we can do that actually. Maybe we can get the lumberyard back. Do they need to be here? Or can he actually come down? He might need to come down. There could be a random army floating the river coming attack uh, any of these cities, so it might be better if he comes down a little bit. Okay. Alright, there's not anybody we want. Let's see if there's anyone we can steal. She's at 38. Recently demoted. Oh, she's at 25. All right, let's steal her first. And then we'll just wait for points. Hopefully she comes to our pool next turn. It's not a guarantee, but there's that chance. Okay, we're good. Uh, marching along. I mean, a little bit of surplus legitimacy. We might build our Administrator of Zhong very soon. Hopefully Liu Ao would also see the light and declare war on us. And we can wipe him out, take his land, make that our capital. Uh, we should have tore that down last turn. Okay, let's continue. Alright, do main signs of peace? Oh, now he's peacing out. No, don't peace out. Keep fighting. Oh, Liu Chong wants land. Ouch. It's going to drag him into a war with Don Zhuo's men. Not exactly what we want to see, but can't really prevent it either. We'll do our own thing. Let him do his own thing. We're only using him. What happened to that army? Oh, they moved back. Uh, are they coming for our trade port? I don't think they can reach it. Alright, we'll deal with Yan Baihu first. There's Sun Ce. Alright. Gonna be a forge. Do we have assignments? No, everyone's busy. She's in the pool. So many characters every turn. What's going on? Alright, she doesn't bring any items, but she brought her unique armor. Also expensive retinue upkeep. Okay. Yang Xiu? I mean, he really should have burned as a trait. The man's very smart. So smart that he got himself killed. Okay, that's fine. We don't really care about anyone else. Alright. Another MTU character. Why is she in Pristol? Right, Dong Zhou was never in her. Ten percent income from all source, minus five public water. It's not bad. It's not great. There's also minus four public water here. I guess you could really, if you're playing as Dong Zhuo on MTU, you can get like really bad public water like from the beginning if you want to farm rebels. Because if you look at it, you get minus five here, minus four here, and Dong Zhuo also has Kuro, I believe, so another minus four. 
So if you want to farm for intimidation, it's pretty easy to do. Alright, unique skills. Force March. Infinite duration, 75 range. Just increase the speed, reduce morale. Okay. Ignore ground type. Empress don't. Minus one satisfaction in faction wide, plus four percent income from all sources faction wide. Minus one corruption, all commanderies. So basically faction wide. That's great. Let's pick this up soon. Cruel command. Plus 10% fatigue, resistance, attack rate, melee evasion, charge resistance. Okay. So she basically trades off like fatigue or morale to buff speed and combat ability. And this one, she trades off one satisfaction for faction wide bonuses that are really good just to have her in the faction. She doesn't need to take on a role. We might just need to give her a title right now because she's pretty mad. There we go. Yeah, we don't need to do anything to her. We just want her to level up one time. Might stick her on assignment somewhere. Maybe instead of Yuan Shu being on assignment all the time. He's still missing one skill. It's a key skill here. Okay, we don't need anyone else, but we could try to get more people. Lady Bian right here. We need to smack them with uh, faction-wide discredit first. What about other people? Hmm. We could invest in Liu Bei's faction just to see what character he has, and see who might be angry. Yeah, let's do that actually. It's because we're friends doesn't mean I can't spy on you. Alright, he recruited Zi Ling. Wait, what happened to Guan Yu? Oh, Guan Yu's here. I was like, did they die? No, Guan Yu Zhang Fei is still here. He didn't get Zhao Yun in this game. He has no one good. Uh, this spy is useless. I want to disown him. I can't steal them. They have such high satisfaction. Uh, there's no one I want. Disown. Just spend a thousand just to check that out. That's fine. Alright, we're good to go. Let's continue. Alright, Gong Sun Zan declares one Gong Sun Du. Settlement upgrade. We can have her as our concubine. She's 51. Why do we want this? I don't, I don't want this. D does she leave us if we don't have her as a concubine? Enamored by her maturity and political talents. Uh, like, would she leave our faction? I hope not. Oh, she's still here. Does she feel bad we turn her down? No, not really. I think that minus 30 recent events from her old faction doesn't have to do anything with us. Okay, alright. That's totally fine. Let's see. Um, We're getting closer to being attacking them. We might need to march, but maybe we should have marched before, because right now it's kind of risky. I mean, I'm pretty confident I can beat him, so if he comes out, we can still win, so we're going to march. Right, we saw that. Um, the old one start taking these land, which I actually don't want him to take, but it's not like I can control him, so... Maybe he'll take all of these and get into war with some other faction, that's totally fine with me. We can take this for a save point. Chen Pu is coming to... Yeah, they like to attack Jiangxia for some reason. AI just really like to go for it. They have no siege weapon, right? Alright, we'll, we'll march this. Run, 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 run. Alright, they need one more turn, and then we're going to send them to attack while they're out. 
Uh, we can take this. Alright, we're gonna cut this out. See you guys then. Alrighty, we took that down. Pretty easy. I mean, they're kind of useless because they don't have poison volley yet, but they will. And pop them out. We're gonna go get them a heal. And then we'll go take the lumber yard. Over here, this should just be a delegate, hopefully. Yep. There we go. Alrighty, so that's a pretty good place to stop. Uh, we're starting to expand into the south. Looks like Yemba, who actually has a ton of territories, uh, we can tear them down and uh, rebuild them. Um, it's going to take us some effort. Valon has a piece of land here, but it seems like they colonized some of the territory, so we'll pick these up and uh, wipe out Yan Baihu and Sun Tzu going forward and, you know, control the south, which is a key part. Um, the north, we're, we're seeing more and more of it. Looks like Renshaw is not doing too bad. He has an army. He has a, His land is just cut in half. Uh, maybe he can get it back. Zhang Ye and Zhang Jiang split the Black Mountain area here. And we pieced out with most of the northern side, so uh, aside from Yuan Shao and Liu Dai, we're fine. We're about to wipe out Liu Dai, and then we can trade his land to Liu Chong. But uh, yeah, Liu Chong for I don't know for what. Maybe uh, maybe the lumberyard, or maybe he pieces of land down south. I'm not sure. If he continues to take more land, I'm not, I don't care about the farmland. But if he takes like a livestock farm, I might want that. Uh, but we'll use that as a trade uh, piece there. So things are looking pretty good. We're Duke now. We're going to continue to expand in the south, uh, build up our economy, take control of all of this, and then we can backstab the High Empire and Domain at the same time. Uh, hopefully we'll be Emperor by then. So see you guys then. Bye!